I just want to show you how you can get started with the VS Code LaTeX extension. I think it is extremely handy because it allows you to compile a LaTeX document directly inside VS Code. If you've already seen my previous video, you know that I love PyCharm and you know that I normally use Textify inside PyCharm to compile my LaTeX document. However, I know that many of you are using actually VS Code for your Python code or to manage your project. Therefore, I decided to put this tutorial together in which I explain how to get started with LaTeX on Mac using VS Code. So we're going to need a couple of things. So the first thing that we're going to need is an extension for VS Code called LaTeX Workshop. We're going to need to install it. It has already been installed by more than a million users. So it is, uh, there is a large community behind and it has a lot of functionalities. I'm not going to cover all the functionalities here because I just want to keep this tutorial simple. Let me know down in the comment section if you want me to also create a detailed video tutorial on how to use LaTeX Workshop. In this video, I'm going to just show you how to get started, how to install it on your computer and how to install MLK text. The second thing that we're actually going to need, I just mentioned it, is MK text. I'm using this one because there is other distribution for LaTeX out there for Mac. However, they are quite heavy. I like this one because it allows you to install your packages quite easily. It has like a simple but nice interface, which you can install very simply on your computer. So what we are going to be able to do is to have our LaTeX source code here on the left, as you can see. So here on the leftmost part of my tab, I have the LaTeX project with all the, all the auxiliary files, the output PDF and the source file. Here in the left center, I have all the LaTeX source code, which allows me to compile this document that I have here on the right. This is a template that I took from Overleaf. It has images, figures and everything. It's just a basic template, so it doesn't really matter which uh, code. I just put a couple of things in it just to show you that uh, all the things that you can do, but it's basically just LaTeX. And uh, a nice feature of uh, this, uh, this integration, this plugin, uh, for VS Code is that by default they have a um, compiler that recompiles your document uh, as soon as you save your latex source code. So let me change the title here. I'm going to change it to my paper and then I'm going to press Command S. You can also set auto save if you want to. And as you can see, the change has been reflected here and you can see that the paper has been already compiled for you. So I think this is extremely handy. You can also do this if you want to with Textify inside PyCharm, but this is a nice feature that comes straight out from the box. So let me show you all the things that we need to do. So of course we need VS Code, we need to install the extension, and we need to install MK text. And we have also to do another final thing that is to add MK text to the path. But I will show you all the steps. Don't worry about it. And uh, I'm going to now uh, delete everything from my computer and I'm going to fast forward this section and then I'm going to be back once I've deleted everything so you can see how to get started and how to install everything. I just would like to ask you if you like this type of video to like my video, to write a comment if you like the video or if you like to find out more or if there is something that I didn't cover and if you can please subscribe to my channel, it really helps. So now I'm going to delete everything from my computer, I'm going to uninstall it, and then I'm going to show you all the steps. We can just simply do a Google search, VS Code, we can click here on download, we are going to download it for Mac. And this is going to download it. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it uh, again. And is in downloads, so I can just uh, open uh, open that. So here in downloads, uh, I have uh, PS code here, so I can unzip it. And then here I can just drag it to the 
I can just drag it to the desktop. So I can just drag it here. So this is going to be VS Code. Here on my desktop, I just have the LaTeX project, which contain the uh, main uh, file, main text file, and the sample bib. Let me just delete all this file here because uh, we want to just create them uh, again. So here, I'm going to delete this file as well. So here inside the LaTeX project, we have just a picture of the frog, the main.x file and the sample bib. So that's perfect. The other thing that we need to install on our computer is mktext. So I have already downloaded it, but let me actually show you where you can find it. So mktext. And you can click here, install uh, Mictex on uh, Mac OS. We can actually click here on download and we can go here in Mac and we can download this file here. Again, I have it already, so I'm not going to download it again. And uh, just uh, I'm going to open the download folder. So here, uh, as you can see, I have Mictex here and I can just uh, open this file by double clicking. I'm just pressing on agree and I'm just dragging it here to the applications. So we can just open the MK text here and we just have to finish the private setup. I'm going to click here. I'm going to finish the private setup. It's going to take a little bit of time and you might want to uh, install some packages. Let's see because last time that I tried to do it, I got uh, a bit of an error. But don't worry too much because we are also going to set that uh, mktext uh, can install packages on the fly automatically as it needs it. So here needs to be restarted. So let's press OK. And then an issue has been detected. And uh, let's check for uh, updates. If we get an error, uh, we can ignore this passage here because uh, it's just uh, uh, optional as it says here and uh, we don't want to worry, we don't have to worry too much about it. We can just uh, uh, say, okay, is, uh, let's say yes, I want to see the error. And uh, here we had uh, a problem getting this data from this uh, mirror. So let's say it's okay. And then we go to settings here. What we want to change here in settings uh, is that we want to uh, always install packages on the fly without having to ask us. And um, so that should be it for MK text. So let's close this. Let's open Visual Studio Code. So the first time that we have to say yes, open. And then we need to go here in extensions here. And we can see that is installed. There is nothing at the moment. And we can look for latex. So this is finding the package that we actually want to install. So we are going to press install and is installing actually the package uh, or that we want. Fantastic. Now we can go into the Explorer. We can click on open folder and here I have it uh, located on the desktop. I have a folder called LaTeX project and I can just open it. So once we are inside here, we can click here on the green arrow and see if we get any message and it's actually saying at the bottom that is building the PDF. So at the moment, uh, it might be installing all these packages that we haven't installed before because uh, as I showed you before, MKText can install the packages on the fly for you so you don't have to worry about it and uh, is uh, probably is installing our packages for us so it's building and uh, once is uh, is done we should be able to see our uh, output pdf you can see here the pdf has appeared so i can just open it here on the left side if you don't know how to split the screen you can just press uh, command shift p and then you can click here split editor left and this is going to split the screen and then here we can open the main.pdf and now we are able to change the document as we did before so we can change it to your 
paper and then uh, by just uh, saving it and we can enable auto save this is going to recompile the document and is going to compile the document for us I already installed uh, MKTX before uh, and I didn't show you this uh, but I just would like to um, import an important thing is that uh, if uh, by default uh, your uh, uh, the path uh, for uh, MKText uh, is not added to your uh, uh, path so to your system path you just need to use this command here into the terminal okay so this is very important i will put this command here down below so i was not able to recreate this issue this time just because i previously installed mktext and visual studio code so i was not able to recreate this error here but if you get an error saying that you cannot compile your document with the latex mk just get this command here if you have a private installation we need to use this one so we can just control copy and then we can go back here and we can open a terminal here and we just have to control V and then press enter and this is going to add um, this uh, bin path of uh, MK text to our uh, uh, environmental path and then we're going to be able to compile the document. I really hope you find this video interesting. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions as usual, please feel free to leave your question in the comment section below. If you would like to support my channel, you can buy me a coffee. More information on how to do so down in the video description. Or you can also support me on Patreon. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video.